The police came to the video shoot after the nigga called the law. They came to the video shoot. Niggas ran. Some niggas got arrested because they had warrants. The niggas that ran left dope and guns there. But really, that was the niggas who was there just getting that shit off of them because they were going to pin that shit on the niggas that left. You know what I'm saying? So nigga got hit with all that bullshit, whatever like that. But as soon as the police got there and niggas got arrested, that became a crime scene. But the video was shot. The only evidence of these people who had these guns in this video was the fucking video. Do you understand that these niggas put the goddamn video out two months later? Alright, look. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. This is, in hindsight, what we look at different examples of the rap trap um if you don't know what the rap trap is revert back to the video titled the rap trap there's also a video entitled um the three s's for people who don't understand these theories and the vocabulary um i'm, I'm kind of lost for words just a tad because Maxo Cream and Cartel Bo are real street niggas. These aren't, these ain't no whole ass niggas. These are actual, real, certified street niggas. Um, these ain't no, this ain't no little skies, little punk, little, no, this, these ain't them faggots. These is real street niggas. And it's a very good example of how powerful the rap trap is. Um, what these niggas just did was put out a video of the niggas who were at the scene of a fucking crime. Um, it became a crime when people rolled by. It was a video shoot. It was a video shoot. They were shooting a video called Hoover. These are Crip niggas. They were shooting a video and in the video they just had, you know what I'm saying, the, the generic scene, you know what I'm saying, niggas with dope and guns and that bitch. Point at the camera, fuck nigga, you know what I'm fuck nigga, you know what I'm saying, nigga, they back there and hold this turp, whatever like that, they're making a the video look live and shit like that, but they were like, by the school, whatever like that, but the school is where the park is at, so that's really where the trap was at, that's where street niggas be at, so, and they, and they city, you know what I'm saying, every city different, you got your little spot, and that's where niggas, it's so much, you shoot your video where real street niggas will be able to say, oh, them niggas, yeah, they, they really over there, like, Round here, it'll be Davmont. It was a mobile. It'll be like Pritchard. You know, well, Pritchard, it'll be Pritchard. You know what I'm saying? It'll be like different spots, like uh, First Dab, you know what I'm saying? Or Texaco, where the shit really go down there. Like, nigga, we really out there. So that's why certain niggas, you see niggas shooting videos inside a gas station. Them gas station, that'd that be the stove. That's the actual stove. Sometimes they don't even have no gas pumps outside. It just be the store where everybody come to to get their weed and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like what niggas actually be trapping it at the store. And I'm showing you that I can actually be, I'm cool with the A-Rab nigga. So goddamn, we can shoot a video in the store, nigga. We really got power around this hoe. Um, and I can come around this bitch. You did, that's really what you showing. That's why niggas show they street signs. Because like nigga, you know what the fuck this is, nigga. I'm on first and field. Nigga, you know what the fuck this is. You know what I'm saying? Or in New York, them niggas be at, um... 150 in Lennox, you know what I'm saying, whatever the fuck, you know what the fuck it is, in Chicago, it'll be like Inglewood and Normal, whatever the fuck they call it, Lamron and shit like that, I'm showing you where I'm at so you know, if you're from here, you know what the fuck going on, it kind of, it's thrown off, because if I'm not from there, I don't know what the fuck go on there, but I guess I should understand from context clues that what a gangster be at, but that's why they were right there, but somebody passing by because it was a fucking school, and actually on a school day, Motherfucker passing by, of course, the all black school, so it wasn't even a white motherfucker did it. Some nigga passing by called the law. That was the fuck they said. When really, goddamn motherfuckers. Nigga, I think it was a nigga, you know what I'm saying, that was out that bitch with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I think it was a nigga out there with them niggas acting like he was shooting a video, and that's the informant. Hey, it's, it's, a, it's a lot on my this bitch. That nigga you were looking for, um, for that damn murder? Hey, he out here, come on out. We right here by the pole. You can't miss us. You know what I'm saying? He doing his work. 
So motherfuckers, and, and that's what they would tell the news. Oh, passerby, uh, a civilian just saw some motherfuckers out there with guns and shit like that, and they were scared for their life. That's what the detective would tell the news because they don't want to give away their most powerful officer, which is the officer that looks like us. The motherfucker that caught that bullshit ass case but didn't want to go to jail because he he he, he a fucking uh, junkie. The nigga pop pills and, and don't want to go through withdrawal, so that nigga said I go to work. So now he he working this shit off. Hey man, it got a lot on my here. That nigga did his work for the day. That's what I'm trying to really speak to you about. These niggas that this shit happened to, these wasn't no lame ass duck ass nigga. These were real, actual real life niggas. And it went down just like this. Let's get down to the reason on why this took place. In order to be a successful raffle, as you will see in a rap trap video, in order to be a successful raffle, to come up the, the correct way, which is through the streets, that's the correct way to come with this music shit. You suppose, you're not supposed to do the Drake shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to do these internet niggas shit, whatever like that, you're supposed to come up through the street, you got your, you got your whole neighborhood behind you, and they, they write you off as that's the next nigga up and shit like that, that's how it's supposed to go, but the internet fucked that shit up, so niggas come from all different angles, but street niggas still believe in that I need to have my city on lock, it's the fuck niggas that want to come through all these different Drake ways and, and SoundCloud ways, Street niggas don't come through that way. Street niggas come through the ground, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga, uh, Rowdy Rich. You see his street behind him. Kodak Black, his street was behind him. And I, I'm just, I'm speaking to you, letting you understand what's going on. Now, when you come through these ways, you can understand how niggas look at you. I'm not going to sugarcoat you and let you, oh, man, yeah, you, you a real nigga for come. No, you not, dog. You didn't have your street with you, which... Don't really matter for real like that because once you become successful, your street then, you know, it's like hitting a lottery. You're going to find all your different distant cousins and shit like that. Everybody going to swear to God that they're with you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be hard to tell, but a nigga with eyes will go back in your archive and see, oh, them niggas want to fuck with you. You ain't got no videos at the park with everybody just going crazy. You ain't got no hood videos over here. You know what I'm saying? With everybody just around you, like how Meek Mill had his shit. You know what I'm saying? So, street niggas understand, I need to have my hood on my side. And in order to do that, I need to be speaking for the hood. And if I'm speaking for the hood, I need hood niggas with me. And what hood niggas, uh, the way they are gonna show that they hood is, I got all this hood paraphernalia. Dope and gun. I have to show this. I told you that as a street trap artist, when you coming up through the ranks in your live, when you go live on, you know what I'm saying, your social media and shit like that, when you do your music videos, you need to have holes in there, like real holes. I'm talking like really, and the way that you interact with the bitches and let motherfuckers know how street you is. Like if you at the strip club and you know what I'm saying, you just, you, come on, look at this shit, nigga. We in this bitch. Like, you can actually fuck a hoe on camera like you really grabbing whole pussy and the whole just going ham. Like, that motherfucker respect you like that. Niggas, like, a real nigga can tell. That nigga, he really with that shit. But if you got a hoe in the, in, the, in, the, in the shit, whatever like that, you ain't even really, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking when you first coming up. When you get, like, Dolph and Gotti and boosting them, you don't even got to touch a hoe because everybody know that the hoes is, is like that. But when you just coming up, nigga, you need to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, these hoes on me, nigga. I can fuck this hoe right now, fuck nigga. Like, you need to be like that. So motherfucker understand, like, you really that nigga. You have to show the people who you are, who... You have to show the people... You have to show the world what the people in your hood already know. We need to see. We don't know who the fuck you is, so you got to prove it to us. And this is why you got to have it like that. And this is why you got to have big dope on camera. Like, nigga, this is what I do, nigga. Fuck, nigga. Thousand P, a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Big pounds on that. That's what... Takashi was trying to do, but we already seen, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do this shit after. You have to do this shit before. You can't do it after. You got to do it before. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, big straps. You know what I'm saying? This with Chicago niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's a dirty-ass camera, but you know what I'm saying? They got big, you know what I'm saying? Everything in that bitch. It's a hood video. You know what I'm saying? So you got hoes, 
guns, dope, and money. You got to show, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody is going to follow no, it's just what it is. And this is why it's a trap. How in the fuck am I going to have money before I start rapping? The only way I can do that is to be a nigga with the damn dope. And if you coming through the street way, what you talking about? You talking about selling dope and robbing niggas. So let me see what's going on with the money. Unless you just a hellified nigga to where you can just do like zero in them. But I don't even know if that's still possible. I'm, I'm giving you an old example. Like with zero in them, where they were just saying like, I'm broke and shit like that. A, a DMX. I'm broke, you know what I'm saying? And this how I just, I'm, I'm, I'm angry about this shit. But that was then. Right now... That broke shit ain't gonna work. That broke shit to get you on the track like, um, who like like a like a Russ. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh 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 who a uh, average Joe type nigga. Who the fuck? Nobody wanna follow an average Joe type nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga wanna follow a nigga that actually got it that people already respect. Nobody, and that's why it's a trap. Like, my nigga, I'm trying to become somebody. This is my dream. I dream to be an artist. Why can't I get on with my skill? My lyric, I'm, I'm a, I want to be a rapper. A rapper. So why the fuck do it matter how much dope and guns I got? I want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? So it's a trap from the beginning. They're they giving you... It, it, it's Rappers nowadays are no different from these IG hoes. You know what I'm saying? They want you to be fine, like, but why would you want to be an IG model? Like, that's, that's fucked up. But the people, the niggas want you to already be fine. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to see you at the beginning of your, your, your weight loss journey or your IG model journey. They want to see you at the end of it. They want you to be the finished product at the beginning. And it's the same thing with this rap shit. They want you to already be that when you start. And if you're not that when you start, then fuck you. It's over with. So niggas had to get smart. And this is why. You know what I'm saying? This is why this whole thing started. But it, it, it became like this because the industry. But it's it's kind of with the people too because. And that's what I'm saying. Like, honestly, the streets cannot rule a business. A, the streets can't run no business because when the streets run a business, this is what we get. When you're trying to please the streets, that's 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 what happens. So then you have to slyway understand why these niggas go the SoundCloud route and all these other routes. But my issue comes when these SoundCloud niggas and shit like that come with that street shit. It's like, hold on, my nigga. You said the street route was retarded, which it is. So why in the fuck is you coming all these other angles but still talking about killing niggas and selling dope and shit like that? If you want to talk about killing niggas and selling dope, you got to come through this dope. And if you come through this dope, you got to have these things. Because if you don't have these things, it's not going to work. Give me an example of somebody who, you know what I'm saying, came through this street dope the right way, the real way, and didn't have to have these things. Give me one. You gotta show this shit, and that's why. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm giving you what it is, like it is. I'm giving you what it is. You don't have to come through this door. Like you, you can sit back and say, "I protest this shit," and tell this shit get back where it need to be at. I'm not fucking with this shit, and that's what's gonna have to happen. I'm not fucking with this shit because. You can listen to your title and your, you know what I'm saying, spot all these other shits. What you can listen to that shit, whatever like that. But what you're listening to is artists that are already there. What I'm talking about right now, what I'm what I'm speaking on is motherfuckers trying to get in this door and gain a fan base. Jay Z and Kanye West and 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 all these other motherfuckers who already can go on tour for the rest of their life. They don't have to worry about no money. I give a fuck about that. I'm talking about motherfuckers trying to get from the dirt to that level. Niggas who don't have no money right now that are trying to get to the point where they, they never have money problems again. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actually getting through this fucking door. 
and how fucked up it is and why it's a fucking trap. Because day after day after day, as you see with this situation right here, I ask niggas to use logic. If this is what happened with Cartel Bo and Max O'Cream to where Cartel Bo got arrested after the video came out, the police came to the video shoot after the nigga called the law. They came to the video shoot. Niggas ran. Some niggas got arrested because they had warrants. The niggas that ran left dope and guns there. But really, that was the niggas who was there just getting that shit off of them because they were going to pin that shit on the niggas that left. You know what I'm saying? So nigga got hit with all that bullshit, whatever like that. But as soon as the police got there and niggas got arrested, that became a crime scene. But the video was shot. The only evidence of these people who had these guns in this video was the fucking video. Do you understand that these niggas put the goddamn video out two months later? Why did they put it out? Because what's more gangster than actually having police shut your shit down because it was too gangster? And now you got damn near 30 niggas that's bam the fuck up. Not just on city and state charges, which is prison shit. You got some niggas on fed charges. Cartel Bo got hit when the video came out. They He bonded out. They put this nigga on house arrest. This nigga cut his ankle mounted off. That nigga on the run right now. By the fucking rap video. You think this shit is a fucking... What other reason, if Kodak Black wasn't rapping, what other reason would he have his fucking camera on with guns and weed out with his baby in there? What other reason would he record that? Just, just take, take your time. Take your time. Outside of being a fucking rapper, why the fuck, or pursuing a rap career, why the fuck would niggas record crimes and put them out to solve the goddamn crime for the police? Why would niggas put on criminal body cams and record the shit? Why else would they do it? Tell me that I don't have a valid case to say that this rap shit has been taken the fuck over by a fucking government agency. And I'm going to leave it right there. This is the rap trap. Make sure you hit the fucking PayPal. We're going to talk about this shit in a minute. Love.